Why did you allow Sir Humphrey to come in here when I explicitly told him not to? Well, I couldn't stop him. Why not? He's bigger than me. <laughs> well, he must be confined to the cabinet office. And how? Lock the communicating door. He has a key. Take his key away from him. Take his key away take from him. Take his key away from him. You take his key away from him. <laughs> Sorry, Prime Minister, but I don't think it's within my power. I'm giving you the power, Bernard. I am authorizing you. But I don't know whether I. I mean. Crikey. <laughs> He'll go completely potty. Is <laughs> that for you, Bernard? Yes. Uh, but, uh, Freedom, Bernard. Y yes, but... I am authorising you, Bernard. Yes. You alone, Bernard, will have access to the Prime Minister. But... Uh, but... Uh, but, me no buts, Bernard. Shakespeare. <laughs> oh, uh, no, Prime Minister, but me no buts is circa 1820. Uh, Mrs. St. Lever used the phrase in 1708, but actually it was Scott's employment of it in the antiquary in 1816, which <laughs> made it fashionable. Shall we keep to the point, please, Bernard? <laughs> yes, Prime Minister. There's only one problem. I if I'm to take his key away from him, what reason can I possibly give? For sake, Bernard, find a reason. Uh, yes. Yes, Prime Minister. <laughs> thank you, Prime Minister. Thank me no thankings, Bernard. <laughs> Hacker. <laughs> well, Bernard? Uh, it's me. Look, I'm coming through to number 10. I'd like a word with the Prime Minister, please. Uh, no, Sir Humphrey. What did you say? <laughs> I said no, Sir Humphrey. No? Yes. Oh, that's better. For a moment, I thought you said no. <laughs> <laughs> I did say no. The Prime Minister is busy. Then I'll come and see you. I'm busy too. What? <laughs> <laughs> Sir Humphrey, you may not come in. You do not have permission. I'm coming anyway. <laughs> you little runt. <laughs> couldn't believe his ears. What did he say? He's coming anyway. Are you feeling strong enough? No, it's all right. He can't come in. I told security to take his key from his office. My God. No, Bernard. It's just your boss. <laughs> I'm staggered. I'm fairly surprised myself. Well, how did you get through a solid door? Where's my key gone? You must have a spare. Where's my key? Uh, the Prime Minister uh, told me to have it removed. That's not correct. Would you mind, dear ladies? Nothing to do with you. Thank you. <laughs> the Prime Minister does not have it within his power to deprive me of my key. It's his house. It's a government building. <laughs> well, I believe it's the Prime Minister's decision who comes into his house. After all, I don't give my mother-in-law the key to my house. I am not the Prime Minister's mother-in-law, <laughs> Look, Bernard. Would you excuse us, dear lady? Yes. Carry on. <laughs> Bernard, I don't want us to fall out over this. It's so pretty of the Prime Minister. You and I are going to have to work together for some years yet, but Prime Ministers come and go. Whereas your career prospects depend upon those who have the power over promotions and appointments on a long-term basis. I must insist you tell me how you came in. Sorry. You must have a personal key. Now, I insist you... Hand it over. Well done, Bernard. <laughs> Hello, is that security? Change the locks on the door connecting the cabinet office to this house and then bring me all the keys. Yes, all the keys. At once. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. Do you have an appointment? I'm Sir Humphrey Appleby. 
I know that's Sir Humphrey. Do you have an appointment? I'm the cabinet secretary. Yes. Do you have an appointment? <laughs> I don't need an appointment. I've got a pass. May I see it, please, sir? Insist. <laughs> All right, now. No, sir, that's a cabinet office pass, not a number 10 pass. You know me, damn it! There's a new top security instruction, I'm afraid, sir. No one, no matter how familiar, may enter without a number 10 pass. Unless they're on the daily list. Or unless Mr. Bernard Woolley gives permission. <laughs> Would you like to defer, Mr. Woolley, sir? Yes. No. Yes. Was that a yes, sir? Sir Humphrey Appleby here, wishing to enter by the front door. Would you ask Mr. Woolley if he may be admitted? <laughs> I'm sorry, Sir Humphrey, I can't find Mr. Woolley at the moment, and he left no word, so we can't let you in. <laughs> this pleasure. <laughs> I must protest in the strongest possible terms my profound opposition to a newly instituted practice which imposes severe and intolerable restrictions upon the ingress and egress of senior members of the hierarchy and which will in all probability, should the current deplorable innovation be perpetuated, precipitate a constriction of the channels of communication <laughs> and culminate in a condition of organizational atrophy and administrative paralysis which will render effectively impossible the coherent and coordinated discharge of the function of government within Her Majesty's United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. <laughs> You mean you've lost your key? <laughs> 